Thank you very much for coming to speak to us. I understand that um, you're a supportive member of the East Sussex County Council mm. for the Greenway project. And I know that uh, since there was a walking and cycling strategy in 2012, yeah. not much has happened. And unfortunately, there's been resistance within the County Council to moving mm. things forward. So I just wondered if you could give me your point of view about what's happening mm. and how perhaps we could move this forward positively. Okay. Um, well, I came onto the County Council probably two years ago in a by-election, um, so that's when I started to become really aware of what was going on with the Greenway route. And at the time, not a lot seemed to be going on when I first joined the Council. But it was obvious that there was things that were being worked on because we had the £6 million LEP money sitting in the background. That was very much known that that money was coming. Um, what, we, that, what I think has been happening is I think the council, with a lack of resources, has been working very much in a silo mentality, in a dark room, so to speak, from my perspective. Um, and Hastings councillors are fully behind this, you know, they do want it to happen. But I think when you've got officers that are working in a silo mentality, obviously they're making decisions that may not be the best. And the expertise really is with the Greenway Group and with the people that have been working on this for many, many years. Like you say, uh, I think it began in the 1990s originally, the concept of it. Um, and moving it forward seems to have been a big problem. And the problem was funding. So £6 million sounds like a lot of money. You split that between Hastings and Bexhill, you've got £3 million maybe for Hastings. I don't think they prioritised the right routes. I think if they'd have had a liaison group here, as they did in Rother, they'd have a much better deal. You know, we'd be looking at the routes that really matter, such as the Ore Valley, for instance, where there's been a really limited amount of infrastructure investment for many, many decades, you know. Um, and this is a community, what amazes me is that they're looking at routes that are on road, they're looking at routes that, say, from the Conquest, the Conquest route down. I don't see that as a more viable route than the Ore Valley. If you look at the statistics of the Ore Valley, you've got a high percentage of walkers. You've got more cyclists there than anywhere else in the town. No car drivers. You know, we walk, we cycle, we get the bus, but we have hills. And so that produces us with challenges, you know. But what I do understand from the County Council on having a meeting recently, a couple of months ago, is that they're very, they're, they're very much tied to this funding, is they have to have these massive business plans. It has to be feasible, it has to be sustainable, it has to be all of these things. And I think some of it is the funding processes that have caused the problems. Right. You know, so. right. so do you think the County Council are actually beginning to move positively forwards now then? Or is there still resistance there? Mixed messages. You know, at one point they were saying, yes, they really needed to work with the Green, Greenway Group. They recognised that, you know, they, they, they should have done more consultation throughout the process. And then all of a sudden it went quiet again and that didn't happen, you know. We've had to drag them out. Peter Chowney, leader of the council, has really applied pressure to get them to actually come out and look at some of the routes in real. They've never even stepped out of the office to actually practically look at these routes. Well, Peter Chowney's... How can you do it from a desk? You know, sorry to interrupt, absolutely, and Peter Chani actually mm. said to us that he's so supportive and positive about these things, but he sort of feels he's got his hands tied because county council aren't moved. What do you think we can do? I mean, we're doing these campaign things, these walks, yeah. as you know, and we've had great turnout yeah. and uh, demonstrations by the cycling groups and all sorts of things. Do you think that's the way forward is to get the town sort of campaigning for this, or how do we make it happen? I do, and I think that, you know, the County Council's promise to us was that, oh, this won't be the only money that comes in for the Greenway, don't worry, we'll do this and then we'll return to it. But as we know in financial struggling times, you know, getting hold of this sort of money is probably not an easy thing no. to do for any, ask, any council. Sorry to interrupt, can I ask you finally mm. about, that money, about that money? It's my understanding the money becomes available from next year. 
2018, yes. yes. But there's a deadline on when you've got to have a business plan ready by, or we could lose them, that grant. Yeah. And that's a, a big concern. And that's why I think we've ended up with the routes that we have. So I think it's that funding that has driven us to what we've got and what we're not happy with, really. There's a, there's a slight suspicion, again, sorry for interrupting, but there's a slight suspicion, I don't know if this is right or not, that some of this money could get filtered into other things and there was talk about maybe applying a freedom of information to see what they're actually going to do with this grant. Do you think that's a way forward or do you think that's not necessary? I do, I do, I do. And I totally support this campaign and I think it is necessary. I think the other thing, um, and uh, I'm often known for quoting things like this, is it's time to get the shovels out, let's put the root in ourselves if they won't listen. Great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, we're going to be riding through the town centre where for the last 10 years we should have had a shared use cycle route and we have not. Um, carefully, slowly, ringing our bells. We need safe, sensible infrastructure for walking and cycling in Hastings. For the last 10 years, Hastings Borough Council and East Sussex County Council have not put in place a shared use cycle route that enables a safe route from the station to this, which is the Seafront National Cycle Network cycle path. Um, so at the moment, to get from the station to here, you have to take at least one right turn across an A road, which obviously to be to be legal that is. So um, we'd quite like that to be resolved. And part of the walking and cycling strategy network, which was put together in 2014, uh, this route we're going to ride today was part of that. And obviously it's now 2017. We'd really like it to happen. Um, what transport can do in terms of increasing and improving levels of public health, saving the NHS thousands of billions of pounds um, every year. Um, through work increasing people's levels of physical activity is it, it's absolutely mind-blowing. Some local authorities are really seeing the opportunities for completely transforming the way that people get around and transforming our towns and cities and villages into people-friendly, livable, less car and traffic dominated neighbourhoods. The particles that come out of the back of a diesel vehicle are, the, the, they're so small you can't see them with the naked eye, but you breathe them in, they get into your bloodstream and they contribute them towards rising levels of dementia, rising levels of lung cancer, um, and they also are triggering asthma in children as well as making asthma worse. We need to make sure that residential areas are not rat runs. So what's happening in London at the moment is in areas like Waltham Forest, they have taken the main road network and all the residential roads between the, road net, the main roads, you can get to every home, but you cannot drive through from one main road to another. Now what that means for the people who live there is that if they want to make some of their local journeys, by car, it has actually got to the point where it is quicker to walk. A lot of people who go out and buy a bike because they want to get healthy, they want to do the right thing and cycle, they want to get their kids cycling, and they try it and they get very scared. And we see people giving away bikes and selling bikes because there isn't safe infrastructure for them to cycle. Uh, Hastings is a town where people drive to go cycling and that's a really sad thing. It's difficult for a borough council to do very much, really, because of course most of the transport uh, responsibilities are either the county or um, uh, with government. In right. terms of issues like the seafront and trying to get traffic off there, right. uh, I mean, that would be a good idea. And I would love to see the seafront, uh, the A259, not going on the seafront and to have that as a, 
as a no-through road. Is it be wonderful to have better, better, better bus services in Hastings? Yeah. So there's a lot the council could do in terms of lobbying and, and raising the issues. There are, I think, things that can be achieved there through um, uh, planning developments, through Section 106 agreements and kind of uh, uh, planning conditions to put gre the greenway through developments as land is developed. Ian, um, I understand you've got a trade unions meeting tomorrow, is that That's right? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And is it about sustainable transport? Or? It's about sustainable transport, it's, it's about railways, it's about trains and buses. So we're trying to uh, not make it a single issue thing, but to attempt to put some more value into the idea of public transport for the public, right. so that every single person, whoever they are, will want to use buses and or trains to go everywhere rather than private cars. The importance of greenways is to provide safe off-road routes that connect the green parts around towns to the facilities of the towns so that walkers and cyclists can move around freely without the dangers of pollution and traffic. So the Hastings Greenway project is really important. Effectively there are two routes that have been put into the local government, uh, or local plan by um, Hastings Borough Council for routes up to the Ore Valley. Effectively from the Ore, Ore Station up to either the Ridge or up to the Academy. Um, the problem is, is that the council want to do a cheap on-road route which goes that way and we want to do admittedly a more expensive but a more attractive and direct route which will go this way. So, th this is the power station site for those of you who have not seen it before. As its name suggests, it used to be a power station site. Um, it's now wasteland and has been for some time. And what they're looking to do is a project that will bring this land back into to use for housing, work units, uh, and stuff like that, and also for the Greenway route. The whole raison d'etre of the Greenway, proper work, as a linear park, is where possible it's traffic free. So if you want to teach a child to ride a bike or teach them about nesting birds or wildflowers or insects, you're not going to do it on a busy road with traffic whizzing past. You can wave at the camera. <laughs> This site has lain derelict for about 40 years. Um, it used to be the power station site in the Eel Valley. Um, it used to provide about eight, eight or 900 jobs in the local area. Um, it's been derelict for a long time, um, but more recently, we, as the heart of Hastings Community Land Trust, have been granted a license to operate here for 18 months um, to do initial work um, towards the idea of community-led housing. Um, so what we're going to build eventually, hopefully, is 50 to 60 affordable houses for people from the local area. Uh, and that's genuine 100% affordability for, for people from this area.
what we're looking for, what we're hoping to get eventually is a membership of at least about a thousand people from the local area buying into it. Because um, that's the idea of community-led housing, it needs to be genuinely owned by the community. Um, we've got support from all the local councillors, um, local conservatives, local labour group, local green group and the local Lib Dem group have all agreed to make sure that this land is transferred in perpetuity to the Community Land Trust. Hastings itself is uh, ranked 13th out of 326 local authorities across England. So um, there's high levels of deprivation across the borough. 25% of school children in or wards itself are classed as obese and uh, the health problems in the whole area uh, are quite disturbing insofar that uh, nearly 20% of all people have got a serious or long-term health condition. Contemporary greenways, where possible, they try and be traffic free. So in this particular instance, which was the first greenway location, we had a railway line and some marginal space. And the marginal space, although it's rail track land, is surplus to their requirements. And so there's enough civic space to fit planting, cycleway, and a walkway and landscape plant. There's a whole network of sites, called, trails called the um, Greenway routes, which have been in the Hastings walking and cycling strategy since 2014. They've been agreed as routes that would link up all the key sites in Hastings. So from the hospital, from the schools and the industrial estate on the ridge, down to or, power, or station, not or power station, or railway station. And the one that goes through this site is really key because it actually links up parts of the valley that have had no connection for ever since the power station site was, was demolished, really, or before that. And so what we've walked today is actually a route that would allow completely, tra almost completely traffic-free cycling and walking route from the ridge right down into it, to Orr Station and then eventually all the way into town. So it means it's a really key route in terms of getting people out of their cars, getting more exercise in a pleasant way, because you can get it just by actually walking from A to B, in an area of Hastings that's one of the most deprived in the country and has really high levels of obesity and um, illness of all sorts. And there's also a planned new health centre next to the Sussex Coast College, which is the other thing that it would link up, so students could be walking to the college, whereas at the moment you have to do a huge diversion round on not particularly pleasant roads. So it's a really key route that actually is um, could be funded now by the money that East Sussex County Council has available for cycling and walking routes. We're going to take